During this week, we had uh, a conference on uh, molecular astrophysics. This is the European Conference on Laboratory Astrophysics. In this conference, we had uh, uh, talks from uh, different areas of physics and chemistry. And the goal is uh, to help astronomers to interpret the data they got with the largest instruments that are available for the community. In the last year, astronomers uh, had built uh, a lot of new instruments, uh, very large, uh, very sensitive instruments that uh, produce very nice pictures that uh, require a lot of information from uh, physics and chemistry. Because uh, these nice pictures that uh, correspond to very large objects in the sky are produced by the movements of atoms and molecules. And in order to interpret the data, we need to know what are the physical processes at the micro scale, at the atomic and the molecular scale, and the only way to get this information is through a multidisciplinary approach to the, to the theme and it's uh, co through collaborations with people doing experiments in the laboratory, doing theory, doing quantum chemical calculations, that it is possible to interpret the data that we collect from these large instruments. And we had uh, uh, many, many presentations from different areas, from uh, ices from uh, molecules, from uh, atoms, from the interaction of the surfaces, nanoscience, and all these areas that are in principle very different. Uh, after this meeting, it's clear that we need to continue and to proceed in the collaboration, to strengthen the collaboration between the different groups in order to interpret all these nice data that we are getting, not only from ground-based telescopes, but also from uh, space uh, borne. Uh, platform like the Future Games Web or the Herzl uh, Observatory that uh, require really a lot, really a huge quantity of work from the laboratory to interpret all the data this, uh, that these expensive instruments are providing. It will be a pity that if we don't have uh, this information, many of the data that are uh, available to the astronomer cannot be interpreted. This is why in this meeting we had this uh, multidisciplinary approach to address the problem of the interpretation of the data and to proceed uh, uh, to increase our understanding of the chemical evolution of the universe.